everybody, today what I want to do is I want to show you how to identify slow visuals within your report. And it sounds like it should be simple, um, but there's a little more to it than you might think. And so let me show you real quickly what I mean. Um, so if we want to determine which visuals we have in our report that are running slow, so that we can look at how to optimize those. And depending on the reason that they're running slow, that's going to determine what we do for that optimization. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go view and then performance analyzer. And we can say start recording. And I've got, a, I've got 50 cards on this page with different measures in them. And so what we're going to do is we're going to clear the cache. And then we're going to say refresh visuals. And what it'll do is it'll run through and it'll recalculate every one of our visuals on the page. And you can see some of them are spinning, taking a little bit longer. Um, and you can kind of watch here in terms of the little circles with dots for which ones are, are taking the longest to complete. And we just want to let this, we want to let this run until every, everyone has got a time associated with it. And if we slow, scroll down here, we'll see there are two more that need to finish. And those should be finishing any minute now. And then once they're done, we're going to take a look at this data. Okay, so if we if we take a look at this and you say, okay, which are our slow measures or our slow visuals? Um, you might be tempted to just look and say duration total milliseconds and base it on that. And that would be largely incorrect because there are really three factors that determine whether or not a visual is is running slow or not. And if we crack open one of these. We can just hit the plus sign here on this 11A. What we'll see here is it's taking 2,726 milliseconds to run. But the breakdown of the, of the three numbers is very different. So the DAX query is how long it takes the DAX measure to run. The visual display is how long it takes the visual to render once the DAX measure is complete. And then the other is it's waiting for something else on the page to happen. So another another visual to display, you know, something else in the queue that's delaying that visual completing its its path. And so for the DAX query, you can optimize your DAX. For the visual display, there are some things you can do to try to minimize that render time. For the other, there's really no direct way to impact that. The only thing you can do is potentially impact the the speed of the other visuals on the page so when it comes to kind of this 11a what can i do directly for this other the answer is really nothing and so you don't want to judge based on that so if we've got you know this one that's taking 2726 okay so here's one here's one that's taking a little bit longer 8a that's 1217 milliseconds and then the remainder is an other, but in this case, the DAX potentially could be optimized more. In these, there's really not much that can be done from a DAX standpoint since they're already running so quickly. And so you don't want to judge based on, on total milliseconds alone. And in fact, when you're looking at this data, what you want to do is you want to strip that out. And so the easiest way to do that is to hit stop and then to say export. And that's going to export the data to a JSON file. And we'll just save that in the directory. And we'll keep it at the, at the name um, that it's got. And so now what we can do is we can go into, there are two different ways to analyze this in external tools that I, that I use frequently, one of which is DAX Studio. And this is geared primarily to optimizing the DAX queries. And so if we, we pop open DAX Studio and we say load performance data, you'll see what that's going to do is, and then we pop that JSON file open. What that's going to do is that is going to take the first two, the first two numbers, the, the query milliseconds related to DAX and the render milliseconds related to visual. And then it's going to add those together, but it's going to take out that other because, again, there's not much we can do with that. So if we sort on this, you'll see these are the, these are the, the measures that potentially we can optimize from a DAX standpoint. And if we sort on the render, these are the ones taking the longest in the render time. And so 
the way that we we look at the the visual layer is through a different um, tool called Report Analyzer. And this is developed by Michael Kowalski at Microsoft, who also maintains the best practices rule set um, for Tabular Editor. And let's pop open his, his tool that we can get to through the external toolbar. And it's a free tool like DAX Studio, but it's, it's, it's really, really well done. And it, um, it adds some real insight into why your visuals are running slowly. So if we, if we pop this open and we open the folder where this, that JSON file is sitting and let me just find that real quickly. Okay. And we open performance analyzer basics and we hit okay. And what this is going to do now is it's going to open that JSON file and it's going to open the report template and let's wait for that to, to render. And then what it's going to do is, this is really cool, that what it does is it lets you filter based on DAX query time. And so in this case, anything greater than three seconds, um, which is the default, is going to show as a slow visual. So in this case, what we've got is we've got um, day 6A measure. Mm -hmm. and we can click on this and copy the metadata of the clipboard. We can brush over this, and it'll show you the, the metadata for that measure and kind of additional information on why that might be slow. And then what we can do is we can we can change the definition of slow here. So so now let's let's say anything greater than 10.9 and you can see that as we as we bump this up that it gets fewer and fewer so that we can really identify the ones that are really running slow. And so in this case right here, you know what we've got is you know, DAX query time of over 20 seconds. Um, this one has a DAX query time of also mm -hmm. over 20, 22, 22 seconds. Um, and so we can really, really pinpoint here through this, which are the, are the ones that, um, that, that we, need to, we need to optimize. And what we can also do is we can go here to Tools, and if we click on Tools and then say, view recommendations, what it'll do is it'll show us the recommendations for each of the each of the of the best practices in here. And so um, what we can do is we can take and, and just screen cap this and blow it up a little to make it make it a little bit clearer. And we can see here that remove custom visuals which are not used in the report. So we've got two of those. Um, reduce the number of visuals on the page. Um, that's kind of the point of this report. And so, you know, there's not there's not much we can do there. And then avoid setting show items with no data. Um, so we've got one object that's doing that. So not a lot we can do to reduce the render time, but there are a couple of things that we can we can take a look at. So anyway, that is primarily what I wanted to show you today in terms of how you identify um, slow visuals in your report. Um, it certainly begs the question of what you do about that then. Um, that's a whole nother discussion for a whole nother day. But um, I hope you found that helpful. And um, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.